101 Live, brought to you by Memphis Podcast. I am your host, Rick Dog. Holla at me, man! Today, we got the world famous two to two times in the studio. What you want to say to the people? Y'all see me clapping. I yep. want to say to the people. What you want to say to them? First and foremost, hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever time you're looking at, whatever time mm -hmm. it is when you're looking at this. Good, good, good day to you. Yes, good day. That, good day. That's you're an Englishman? Is that an English? Like from London? Good day. I thought you I don't was. know what it is. I thought you were going to have some tea when you said something like that. that pepper tree. <laughs> Speaking of tea, pepper tree tea. Make sure y'all out there now. Look, whenever this shit air, I know pepper tree tea ain't going to be done happen yet. So yep. since you talking about some, I'm from London with the London. tea. Since y'all, yeah, since I'm tea. from London with the tea. The tea. Make sure y'all come to pepper tree tea. Mm -hmm. October 29th. This is the finale. I done did one. I done did two. This is the last one. Cause we finna get out the projects, y'all. We got the projects. We gotta get up out the projects. I got a new series coming. I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is. You just gotta come to Pepper Tree Tea and you'll find out. And if you want tickets, go to thecomedyjunt.com and look for Pepper Tree Tea and get your tickets. All right. October 29th at 8 o'clock. Man, she don't let y'all be know. there. She let y'all know how it is. Or B. I swear. Man, I like you. I ain't gonna say nothing. It looked uh, like a rectangle. Man, I thought you But you know. Throwing your you setup. Did. I thought you throw your setup when you did that. No. I like, damn, we, gonna go with, setup. we gonna go into sex later. We uh, gonna go dear. into sex later. Y'all see dear. the blue. You see the blue? <laughs> Look. You see all the right blue, folks? All right. So what we gonna talk about now is a few issues. Now I didn't really wanna I didn't really wanna talk about this because I think everybody done hit it. But I got to talk about the PNB situation. Now, the reason I want to talk about it is why we got to post everything we do. Why? Cause, because you know why. You know we got to shit on everybody with no tissue. That's why folks post everywhere, everywhere and everything they do. Cause they gotta let somebody know that they, you know what I'm saying? Don't you watch reality <clears throat> shows? Do you watch reality shows? I watch them. Okay, what you watch them for? To see what them folks doing, how they living their life. I watch for the buffoonery. Okay, so checking in where you at? That's the buffoonery. If you think about it, uh, you know it's the buffoonery. If if you checking in where you at, you showing people. If you live your life on social media, that is your reality show. It was, but you know, <clears throat> I'm not blaming the girlfriend. I don't like a lot. I don't of, even know who P N B is. I, P &B when Rock I hear P and B, when I hear P and B, no mm -hmm. disrespect to nobody that's mourning over the loss of dude. Mm -hmm. But when Rest I hear P and B, P and B, I thought about peanut butter. Damn. I mean, what kind of peanut butter you thought about? I mean, just peanut butter. Shit, you see PNB on my mama. Shit, that's why I look like how I look now. I was finna come in here, y'all. I ain't got no eyebrows on. I done been to every goddamn where before before we got. I done been to University of Memphis. I done been to uh, the middle school, elementary school, and a high school today. And, and the you grocery got the store. You got the tie right there. Mm -hmm. so and I'd have been to I a feel. grocery store and I, I ain't feel. even started cooking. <laughs> yeah. I came here after the grocery store. I took a little break. You took a little break? I took a little smoke oh, break damn. and came here, pulled so up. So you ain't fried that chicken or nothing? I ain't, nah, we had not feel the cheese steak something quick because I got a show tonight. All right, so you're going to use a little red, a little, a little meat to come in the little red pack? No, nah, it, it's already it, it's, laid out. No. How you do yours? I got the steak. I got to shave this shit. Damn, I'm, I'm one of them mamas. I don't really? trust. I don't trust nobody. They take too long to give Boy. me my. They take look. The IRS. I still ain't got my taxes for this year. The IRS take too long, and and the government and everything that's USDA. So I don't really be USDA. I don't want no meat that's already boxed up. Some of this for Philly cheese steaks. Now nah, I'm gonna get my steak, and then you know what I'm saying. Damn. Do it myself because I don't trust these hoes like that. I don't Boy, trust them. Boy, I know you keeping niggas wrong. You doing authentic. Yeah, I, I I be in the produce Authentic. section a lot. And that mother going Jason Dilly in the hole. Yeah, um, this, this for the baby hole. This ain't for no nigga though. Ooh wee! But okay, in closing on that subject, uh, when you looked at the picture, the the, the the waffles and the chicken didn't just look like they were that fire either. I want to say that. I ain't it like see it was some juice like coming out the damn chicken. It like some, you know, it like some waffle house. I mean, okay. That's Roscoe's. If I'm going to get my ass blowed off, 
I want this shit to look gourmet at least. I'm gonna get my ass blown off. What the hell, Rick? What the hell, Rick? That damn shit look like some shit I could have made at the house. If this my last day eating, I don't want that shit to like Waffle House. So what you saying? That shit like seven dollars. So what you saying is his last supper should have been. Man, that man. His last supper should have been his yesterday lunch. That what you trying to say? It might as well. This is your last meal. At least I could get some gourmet action in here. But you know what? I mean, motherfucker should have made the waffle right in front of. You just don't know, nigga. This your last meal. You know, you know what? They right. You, 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 never know. you never know. I don't want. I don't want no damn waffle house looking at that shit before I die. That's all I'm saying. I got to try. It on. might taste good though. All right. You never know when your last meal. I, I got a feeling my last meal gonna be some damn noodles. Damn. That makes sense though. <laughs> that makes sense My though. My last meal is gonna be some noodles. That makes sense some, though. With some paprika in them and some, you know, you put your own. I put a little lemon pepper, paprika, I think onion that's powder. Thanks to meal. My noodles. I cook noodles. I, I fuck with noodles. I think that's gonna be my last meal good. though. I don't, I don't give a fuck how much money I get. I'm cooking me some noodles. I be on vacation cooking noodles. Damn, that's what's up. How you say that? I money. do. Hell, yeah. cause, cause you know. How you do vacation? You want to wipe, just be out of town so much. You get you, right. an Airbnb, you get you an Airbnb, some shit with a kitchen, because I don't trust these restaurants like that. Every time I get some food, I got to send the shit back, and I ain't cooking how I eat. Right. So I get me a little Airbnb, man, and but little I, EBT card, and go out of town and go to the Walmart and get a little couple packs of meat. And I be straight. Shit, I'm cooking my kitchen and my Airbnb. But I think, I think, I think it'll be... Um, you the same one that make gourmet Philly cheesesteaks. Yeah. So. so how how is how is it gonna be up to your standards? How's it gonna be up to that, your standards? That's that's another reason why I don't go to all these chain restaurants. Cause the chain restaurants they get shit packaged and pre cooked. I don't be wanting nothing pre cooked. You take your ass to Young's to get the damn 12 inch Philly cheese steak. Young's? You know you take your ass to Young's. I don't go to Young's no more. Shit. Once I learn, you know what I'm saying? You know Young's cook cats. There might not even be no goddamn. There might not even be no beef. It might be beef because it might be some rhino meat or something. It might, it might, it ain't no, it ain't no cow. Man, I ain't never heard of rhino meat. Yeah, Shit, exactly. you got one for me. Shit, hey. it might be some, some deer. You pause it. No, 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 no. Check this out. I heard that uh, that they have fake rice. The rice is fake too. Yums, exactly, man. Yeah. And then it's, it's when you go rice. to China, when you go to China, my uncle used to fuck with a bitch that was a real Chinese woman. Okay, when you go to China, you will learn that it is legal to cook rat. It is legal to cook, you know what I'm saying, shit, dogs. So they really cat, living out the they, fed of land in the whole. Yes, get them the, the shit that we can't eat here, they can eat it over there. Rick, it's, it's, if you look up online, they have. This shit legal, classic, they can do this. Look up the that. classic rice. They've been, you thinking you eating rice and chicken. And I don't fuck with you. You eating fake rice, you eating plastic and some rats or something like that. Some, exactly. Uh, they saving say money. That's why they give you so much of it. You got to pay attention. Rice they is cheap you anyway, enough, though. It's cheap, but you know what I'm saying? They get all this. They want to keep their money and send it over there. Damn. Look at look at everything. Look at your, damn you just, China mine. Everything you got on is made in China. The damn China mine. I never thought. All right, this something I've been wanting to talk about for the longest. I'm glad I got you here. My dad is is part. He a Filipino, so you know I I hey, I know what's real and fake. Don't I ain't fucking with no yums. Yums on that fake shit. On that fake shit. Now this one question I want to ask. I've been watching all these damn girl trips. It's like it's girls trips, girl trip. And you can tell the truth or you can tell a lie. It's mm -hmm. your choice. Do they be fucking on them? Do girls be fucking on them girls' trip? Because I think they be, be I think they be fooling us. Like it's all us, bitch. We drink and drink. I think it, they be going on to do some fucking. I went on a lot. I went on a girls' trip once. No, twice. I hosted one, and then I went on one for my friend Danny's birthday. Shout out right. to Danny. And when it's right. your birthday again, girl, we gotta go somewhere. And I'm going to Texas next. Yeah, be two some weeks. fucking going on. No, it ain't. It's gonna be some fucking going no, on. No, it ain't. Let me tell you about Danny's no birthday screwing. trip. 
Ain't no screwing. Let me tell you about Danny's birthday trip. We went to Destin, Florida, and we had an Airbnb, like I said, and it was a girl's trip. It was just us girls, and we was on the trip. It wasn't no niggas. It wasn't no niggas in no. there. I wish. I wish. If you don't take no niggas, you're going to fuck the niggas that's there. It wasn't. It, we I know. don't believe that well, shit. You should have been a fly on the fucking wall then, Ricky, because... It, it wasn't. It wasn't. Okay. Another wasn't side question it, on that. Do women go on girls' trips when they on a period? They're not going. They were like, bitch, I can't enjoy myself. I'm on my period. So on you're my, not going on your period. If all the my, women go on their period, no, I accept that shit. I was on mine for like the first two days. Because I was mad as hell. We was at the beach. I'm like, Sit on top seat. But, you know what I'm saying? If it, it's I some mean, fucking shit, going if on. Set up in my bullshit, if you some paid fucking. for the trip, if you paid for the trip months ago, and then you just to happen. To you know your, your damn period. calendar. Your man know your damn period calendar. Shit, that shit might come a day early or a day late. Or uh, you shit, not, or we you raised know, that hope. Or you know that motherfucker coming. If it's a girl trip, shit, you still going. You with your girls, bitch. If I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. I, the, the, the question was, it be some fucking going on. Nah, I, I'm one of your friends, you, not no you, fucking. and not two of your other friends. What about the four friends? Did she do some fucking? <laughs> That's nobody, what I want to know. I ain't want nobody fucking. You know, she do some fucking. She do some fucking. She like, cool, I'm about to state. I mean, you Come know, on, go against the girl code one time in the hoe. Everybody girls trip. <laughs> everybody girls trips. Break be, the hoe. Everybody girls trips be different. But the one, hey, the one on, that man. I, I step off the one that I you went know, on. No, nah, but the one that I went on wasn't about a fucking. He's sitting here thinking I'm lying. He's he thinking lying going on this He's thinking I'm lying about it's girls lying fucking. On, like damn, fucking every girl's trip. Don't be funny. Think about them nuns and then think about them real Christian hoes that go on girls trips. They really be dedicated to that nigga, but they want to oh, get a break. Shit, if they don't want to fuck, they don't want to fuck. If a motherfucker want to fuck a nigga, Hell no. they can fuck a nigga in town. They ain't got to wait till they go out of town. If 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 I'm a cheat, and if I'm a fuck with a nigga, I'm a fuck with a nigga in town, out of town, I don't give a damn. Man, your ass sitting there drinking all them good-ass drinks. You're just smoking all that good-ass dope. Your ass sitting on them girls spanking ass. You're doing sexual acts. You don't do no fucking... Half of these motherfuckers don't fuck at home. Hell oh, shit. You don't kill me. They probably, you know what I'm saying, probably true. fuck once or twice That's a true. month at the house. What the fuck is going out with your girls? What what once difference is that? What the make? hell? How do you fuck once or twice a month with hey, an old you, man? You you don't know. So hold up, hold up, hold up. Damn this man, shit. We done opened up a, a new a new Hell <laughs> the hell to the Hell yeah. Hold up me money. This messy ass pie. I told you it was messy. You all gonna get there. You mess his hair, Ricky. Give me that motherfucking paper. <laughs> you ain't getting it. <laughs> Ricky, for the record, for the record, and, and while I was here, I was saying, Ricky, Ricky gave me on this messy ass podcast. I'm finna mm -hmm. be full of some messy ass shit. And I be damned. Man, if a man, all right. If a I mind. came in here innocent. I don't fuck on girls' trips because we here Y'all be fucking them girls. I don't we give damn. We you ain't got to portray the, the code today, but I, I know it's fucking nothing. on them you damn know. girls' trips. I ain't portraying Shit. nothing. Shit. If I was the going on wear the best it, panties. You be looking at all them damn sets they got all the best bathing suits. Shit, you fuck it. You in a sexual mood. You is feeling your liberation in that hoe. Got me held to the hoe. If you insecure, just say that. I ain't scared of no fucking going on. If, if you insecure, just say that. All right, now hold up. Now you brought up something that's if off my notes. If you insecure, no, I ain't. Yeah, boy, I slang this thing. So All I ain't right, this good. Bear trust, buns. Trust that hoe when she home she run got record in this hoe. But <laughs> as we talk trust about. Trust that hoe when she say she gone, then. Don't be thinking about it. Stay fucking. If you, if you secure. Out there fucking them damn Jamaicans. Out there in Jamaica. Niggas are doing them damn dances and shit. If, doom, if, doom, doom, if doom, you doom, secure doom, you shit. If you secure you, <laughs> you, you If you secure you will lay your shit down before she go and when she get That ain't back, enough. Yeah, that ain't enough. Because you insecure. All right. We'll take that. Okay. Next subject. Now, you Next said subject, something. Next subject, I got to go pick my daughter up. Her, her dad ain't see he was coming. Oh, damn. Now, you said something. If a hard worker, you said most women... I have sex because sex is important. I'm sorry. I'm going to stick on that. I believe sex is a very important com uh, conversation. So you see it. Some of them only doing one or two. This man working hard at Amazon. He getting overtime and everything. And he ain't, can't get it number twice. If he deserves some pussy. How the hell you deserve some pussy? I'm in the goddamn house. You paying all these goddamn pills. That's what I'm saying. He deserve it. But if the nigga don't deserve it, he don't get it. 
what, a what are the qualification of, of being a deserving a uh, deserved recipient? Ricky. How you deserve some shit that's natural as hell? So, okay, what, what, why, so you, you mean to me you just put your dick in anybody then? We who say, deserve, who deserve, who deserve you? You're trying to flip this shit on me. I ain't trying to flip shit on you. You just done flip flopping this shit. Flip flop like it was on uh, Vampire Book and flip flopping this shit. I'm telling me, man. Who the fuck deserves Ricky? Who deserves Ricky? I'm just trying to I see if you throwing your shit. shit. See, no, I, see, I'm not proof. portraying the brotherhood. That's proof. That's proof. I was trying to get that's it out of you. Proof. That's proof. I was trying to get it out of you. Hell that's to proof. the nizzle. That's proof that niggas just put their dick in any goddamn thing. They don't care who deserve it. They don't give a fuck. They just going to put their dick up. in the hole. Hold up. Hold up. I who deserve my phone. it? Who deserve it? Hey, Siri, what are some of the tootie jokes? Um, and, oh, thank you, Siri. She said, you said in one of your jokes you wish you could unfuck some niggas. I do. And why is that, ma'am? They didn't deserve it. All right. Why they didn't deserve it? You gave it to them. You put that thing up there. But you, you go deep inside. You know what I'm saying? When, 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 okay, say for instance, <laughs> you done bought CD Jordans right here, right here? Them Jones right here. Them Jones right there. Them ones right there. You remember back in 80, whatever, when they came out, I'm right? Mm hmm. Siri, shut up. Thanks. You remember when them, them Jordans <laughs> came out, right? <laughs> Right. When they came out, they probably was not two hundred dollars. No, they probably about a probably about about a good height. Sixty five. The value of them went up. My pussy value them went up. I get. It. I was a broke hoe back when you know what I'm saying. I was fucking some of them niggas, mm -hmm. which I really wasn't. But you know what I'm saying. I done elevated when I elevated. elevate. My shit elevate, everything on me elevate. I go get my eyes checked at least once a year. So that means my vision Okay, ain't cool. Wait, wait. As much as it's I want to go on this list, but hey, she done. She done took exactly. me on my. Exactly. All right, so did you learn more things to do? I found that I figured out my worth. Right, and learning your worth, did you learn some more, like, some techniques, uh, some positions? Because you say you went up. Anytime something go yeah. up, it. it yeah. I didn't invite him. Look, let me tell you something. I'm having a birthday party at the Shake Joint. If anybody want to come, you're welcome to come to Deja Vu oh, October 7th. Really I invited all my baby daddies to the club. And guess what? Ain't nobody going to fight. It ain't going to be no drama. Everybody going to show love. That means some of them still want them if they ain't going to fight. They probably still want them, but guess what? Ain't none of them niggas still fucking because I found my worth. I was a I was young when I had you know you young and you ain't so thinking about what you're doing. Shit, man, I was man, 18, 19 dude. years old. I was, actually <gasps> I invited my shit. first baby daddy when I was fifteen, so and the baby didn't shit, even man. make it. I invited that nigga to the party. So sick of this shit, man. I don't know what to do. It's damn shame how high pussy's getting these days. Man. It ain't that it's, it's getting. Damn high. shame they sitting there doing this shit out here, man. These streets, this pussy. Anyway, it ain't that I was high. It, it's fit, I was 15, Ooh, 19, 21, and 24 when I had, and, and hold on, 24. Damn, when I had Carter, 27, 28. Carter, uh, she remember you. Don't don't feel bad, son. But but you know what I'm saying? Oh, damn, she them forgot where your hair was born. <laughs> no, nah, I forget how old I was. <laughs> but at them ages, at them ages, you know what I'm saying? My mentality has changed. The shit that I was going for back then in, in 2002, I ain't going for that shit in 2022. All right. So if I'm a man dating you, what you got to see that you want to see? Can I just, can I have a job at, uh, at, at FedEx? Get me you, a can have, man, you can have a job any motherfucking way, but what you're not finna do is try to overpower me when, you know what I'm saying? Uh, how long it going to take for me to get the pussy if I keep taking you out and shit? How long it going to take? Rick and for you, boy, please. I ain't say me. No. I was just saying if I was a man. If we you. vibe, I mean, if we vibe. How long it gonna take me to get the pussy? If you vibing, then I ain't one of them. If we vibing, cool. But I uh, can I get it? Can I get it within a week? Or I just want to know because I'm gonna be taking you out and shit and playing within with your week, kids and shit and nah, throwing you, a little ball. Now nah, what you not gonna do is play with my kids. I don't let all them niggas come around my kids now. All right. I ain't one of them. I ain't one of them motherfuckers that you got to meet my kids. No, I don't let all them folks come around my kids. So how long it going to take to get the pussy, man? God damn. I mean, you, you, you got 
got to see the vibe. Shit, I don't know. Like I can't just put an ounce. I can't put it three months and then you a weak ass nigga and then it take you three years. You know what I'm saying? It, it's <laughs> <laughs> you can't say you can't put a time limit on shit. All right, as a segue to this, because I think we haven't educated a lot of folks. Will we ever have what the old folks had as far as being couples? You find somebody, you be with them, y'all take the family pictures. And you be together for ten. Will we ever have it in our generation? Because I don't think it, it's kind of. Yeah, it's, some, it's still some people that do shit like this. It's some folks. It's some folks that I went to <coughs> high school with, and they were going together in high school. Man, them folks still go together now. They both got their CDLs and some more shit. They got about five kids. Yeah, it's still it's still out there. Five kids, yeah, that's a good push it's, st- it, it's still out there. They had them kids, you know what I'm saying? They they've been together since plop, like, when plop, I tell plop, you plop. when we was in high school. And I'm thirty something. Mm-hmm. They they round my age. So they've been together since they were like twelve, thirteen. So mm. you know what I'm saying? It's still it's still out there. It's all about I do cause I, I really, you know, we done did a talk a lot of talk about um people being together, but I really wish we can return to that because that's how I think we can affect the youth when they see mom and daddy in the house. Uh, they love each other like the man. Well, no matter what, no matter what he do or what she do, they love each other. And I, I was just, I don't know, fearful. I'm like, damn, we have, will we able, will we be able to see like my ain't no folk I'm gonna tell man. you why that shit was so solid back in the day. Mm-hmm. The economy. Well, no matter, it wasn't no credit scores out back then. It, it it wasn't no no uh what I'm trying to say it wasn't no realtor companies out there you you got to mm-hmm. make three times the rent rent and you got to you hell? know you yeah. you got to have this rent credit score. Goddamn, you got to you, you gotta know what I'm saying back in the day back in grandma and granddad the day mm-hmm. they ain't had no you got to make three times the rent you got to mm-hmm. bring me your check stubs they mm-hmm. had that paid under the table you you mm-hmm. if you could pay then you could stay you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying they had that type of shit and we raising cows mm-hmm. how, you know what I'm saying that's what they had back in the day. We ain't got that shit now. And that's why a lot of shit, I, oh, I'm finna leave. Because, you know what I'm saying, it was solid back in the day because the economy was different. Would you raise some hogs? If, say, if it's, like I said, me, not being me. If I told you, Would baby, I, I got, some hogs, yeah, I got a farm. And Hell what, yeah, you got damn right I will. I want, my, my boy, that shit goal, sound like prayer cap. My ultimate goal, I want a grocery store. But I want the shit coming from my farm. And my plan, I don't even want to say if this shit finna be on YouTube. Everybody finna see my plan here. Mm-hmm. But I'm finna move back to Arkansas. I'm finna move back to Arkansas. Give me a farm, man. Fuck it. Fuck ass turn now. I'm finna go back to my roots. I'm finna, I, I was raised on a farm. Hmm. Yeah, you ain't even know this shit, did I? Did you have to do Did you have to do that? I know you were from Memphis, but did you have to, to, to squeeze that damn Memphis? I ain't do that. Kid? I ain't do that. I was a kid, but I moved to Memphis when I was eight. You know, I, ain't, mm. I, I came to the city in 94. But I want to go back to my roots because all, all of what I was telling you earlier, like I would rather cook my own food when I'm out of town. Because the USDA, they 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 approving every goddamn thing. Like they don't give a fuck what's wrong with these. These animals can have syphilis. Sure can. They can have syphilis. I've seen that shit. And, and, and they'll let that motherfucker with syphilis, they'll sell it to you. Um, this motherfucker got gunner. This chicken got gunner real. They going to give it to you. And we frying and turned it into a tent. Well, nigga don't get- Niggas don't care. You throw the season. We sitting up here eating gonorrhea chicken, hot wings. Come on, nigga, you got me scratching. There ain't no scratching getting you high every time you pee. You that's that that's that gonorrhea chicken. All right, how do you feel about male sexual enhancements? Like when they go to the gas station and get a pill and shit. The thing is, you, how you know, feel they, because the thing about it, women don't go through what we go through. No, nah, they don't. But I heard so they I, get their honey for women. Yeah, they got the honey for women. The thing about it. But how do you feel this for a man? I got to sit up I, night. I got to see you. You get, you know, light skin make me go fast. Got, I haven't <laughs> got to. I haven't got to that point in my life yet where I fuck with the niggas that need enhancements. You know, I fuck with old niggas, but the old niggas that I fuck with don't need that. But well, if they when did, you say oh oh, Ricky, ever since I've been knowing you, what I've been telling you, I got an old nigga at the house. Yeah, tell true. the people, tell the people. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I didn't even. Like, you know what? Why? You got to say it. We got to bring up old stuff. But when I first met too, I tried to holler. 
Who said mugshot? I, I know, Ricky, no, Ricky, my nigga. Ricky been cool, never like, said, man. Like, I sounded like a slave. Like, I sounded like a slave. Y'all, like, I sounded like a slave talking to Ricky. I tried, I tried to holler. Who said mugshot? Yeah. I said I talked to her. She I was like, I sounded uh, like Celia. And then, uh-uh, she Mr. said, uh, um, by dawn, goddamn. She said, uh, I seen her like, damn, little red one. What's up, man? What's up? She said, man, I ain't gonna lie to you. I got an old nigga. You said that at a uh, mugshot. She had old nigga. But I, what? The old nigga's the one that had a problem. See, he take care of himself. But you know what I'm saying? I guess I, I've been blessed because I've been fumbling and stumbling across old niggas that, that's healthy. But I ain't. I guess, I guess you know what I'm saying? You ain't even got to be old to need that shit. You can be strung out on them damn pills and powder and all this shit, and, and your, your, your dick just won't get up. But I, I've been blessed to not need them them type. You know, I've been blessed. And when it don't get up, do you comfort the man or do you just make him feel I, bad? Didn't I just tell you, Ricky, I ain't never had that damn problem. Didn't I just tell you? How the hell you the damn undefeated in the hole? All right, then. I ain't never. You just it. undefeated in this hole. I, I mean, when, when I come across that problem, so what you I do? What you what, what you throw your hurt? Do this? And I niggas promise just... I'm calling. As <laughs> soon as I say Ricky, as soon as I call Ricky, man, look. I done finally got happen. one. Yeah, but. I ain't, it ain't never happened for me. Oh, man. I don't know if, if I ain't been fucking with enough paw paws enough or what. Paw paws gonna drop the cheese, though, so I ain't even mad That's why I fuck yeah, with them. Yeah, they do. How do you feel about kids cussing in front of their parents? Like, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a punk ass parent. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get on the record. Punk ass parent. My kids cuss in front of me and they vape too. They smoke that motherfucker like they smoke the blunt. Oh, your kids. Uh, Vaping. I ain't gonna say that now. I ain't gonna self incriminate myself in this bitch. Okay, well. But they vaping. What and I they be cussing. And now they bitch, you crazy. And they know I heard, bitch, you crazy. What did you do when you was that age? Did you cuss? I used to do it with my, my cousin. You know, we'd be over to the house. You know, we walking down the street to the store. Fuck, motherfucker. You say every cuss word because then what you can say. It. When, 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 when that time was going on, wasn't your cousin right there with you? Yeah. Look at the time now. They be on their game. Everything is virtual. So virtually, they still with them people how we was with them people physically. So if you catch them cussing virtually, you did that shit physically. You just got to put, hey, motherfucker, I heard you. Don't let that shit happen to me ar around me again. That's what you got to do. How you ever heard yours cuss? Hell yeah, I heard him. And I jacked their ass up like the that. The Carter cuss. I, I don't want to know if Carter cuss. Hell yeah, all my kids cuss. I not cuss. My birds cuss. Because I cuss. My birds cuss. In bird. I think they be saying bitch. Oh, no. But, I, I, I just sound. Can you make the sound like that? Come on, my guy, you listen to him in the background. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my motherfucking birds cuss. Oh, Everybody man. cuss. Cuss, you know what I'm saying? But but I'm going to say this, and then we're going to go to the next subject. Who invented cuss words? Who who made cuss words cuss words? You know, I always thought about that. You know I, what I'm saying? I always who thought about that. Girl can be a motherfucking cuss words. Like, who the fuck, in, who, who said that cuss words was cuss words? They just words like the rest of them. Don't cuss them. They be respectful. It ain't about the words that you use. It's about the respect. My kid is crazy as hell at the house. But when you go to when they go to school, mm -hmm. Carter is student of the month in the whole school every month. Mm -hmm. But at the house, he is not child of the month. That motherfucker bad. All right. Well, man, I'm about to get real. So you know, I, right I, I let my kids do whatever at home. I let my kids do whatever at home, but but they know how to represent me when they go out in public. They they goddamn it. They I, they know I don't play that shit. So when you break up with somebody, how do you feel about like? Cause I recently went through this. I, I recently went through this. I, re I recently went through this. What? Do you remain friends when you break up? Because I think some people like to be petty and show you who they with and show you what they doing. If you break up with so a nigga. I got so much to say about that because I you broke break up, up with, with all nigga, my baby daddies. Do you keep them as a Facebook friend? 
Cause you be putting your outfits on and shit. I can only imagine. I'd, the thing about I'd have got the, the pussy. You sit there and you got them the putting them outfits on Facebook. and showing me your shows and shit. That, that the damn. Thing about, the thing about Facebook. The thing about Facebook. The thing about Facebook. People are gonna take it. They're gonna perceive it how they want to perceive it. No, I'm not friends with all my baby daddies Why? on Facebook because I had open child support cases for one and for two. I ain't even. I don't, don't want to be nobody friend. You was their friend at first? On Facebook? Yes. I'm talking about if you were friends no, I'm on, Facebook, on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, on Facebook. I got a Facebook page. Ain't none of them niggas my friend. You ain't never made none of them niggas your friend. No, I mean, no, I don't do that. I, I Ever. No. Sneak ass. Ain't no sneak ass. Oh, get sneak them, ass they, shit. It's, it's, they, they, you know what I do on Facebook. I promote and, right. and push these shows, but some of them don't look at it like that. They look at it like you always in the club. You always, you know, trying to make it like I'm just a party animal. And hell no, nah, I be in that bitch yawning. But I can't be no, I can't be too many people friends on social media because they take that shit the wrong way. So even the nigga that I'm dating, like you, you can't be friends with me. I, I'm gonna delete you because you gonna feel some type of way. at some of the things that I post as a joke, some of the things that I share, you know, so I can't, I can't do that. All because right. I have to keep an audience. When I'm on social media, I'm being me as a comedian. Mm -hmm. I'm not being mm -hmm. me as a person. Me as a person ain't on social media. Okay, so, um. Separating them, separating that crowd, um, and you said that you had to keep a certain audience, but don't you want people to see you authentic? I do, but people that know me authentic ain't on my page, like baby daddies and boyfriend. No, because they get offended. They get offended. With mm -hmm. some of the shit that I share and post. So, no, if you're going to be like that, you can't be on All my right. damn page. Why would somebody get offended you sharing that you're at a show? No, nah, I share. I can get Ricky. Come on, man. You see all the, the crazy, funny shit that I share on Facebook. All right. It all ain't right. that I'm sharing that I got a show. I share memes that's funny to me. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It might say something about, it might say something that ain't got shit to do with me, but I'm a shirt. Mm -hmm. But somebody that deal with me, they gonna get them. Damn, why you sharing it? Why you? Why you? Why? I don't want to hear that shit. So now nah, you can't be my friend, cause I don't want to hear all this shit. You can be my friend on Instagram, cause all I do is post flyers. But I don't give everybody. Now nah, this all about having boundaries. All right. So, in closing, um, what advice you would give an up and coming young lady in comedy? Dealing with men, dealing with promoters, them niggas want to fuck you to do a show. What would you give them? What advice would you give them? Do you? If you want to fuck, fuck. If you don't, stand firm on this shit. And and you know what I'm saying. And if you got a man, let him be be upfront, be authentic, authentically you. Who will accept it? Accept it. Who won't? Won't. But don't get offended by who won't and who don't. And also. Don't put too much of your personal life on social media because you don't know who out there is stalking you. You don't know. Yeah, you seen Players Club. You don't want to stand. Myron, you you don't want Myron. no Myrons. Myron. You don't want no Myrons. Mm -hmm. So don't put too much. Don't give them too much. Cause Myron followed Diamond ass home. He was protecting her. With, he was protecting. He was her. protecting her, but then at the same time, protection could be obsession. I guess it don't take. I guess it don't take a lot. Protection can turn into obsession. All right. So what you got at this, at this portion, we like the folks to know what you got going on. So what do you got going on that these people can look forward to? First and foremost, please follow me at 2D2 Times. It's T-O-O-T-I-E, the number two, and times the regular way. And if you want to be my Facebook friend, it's 2D2 Times, T W O. Times the regular way, Robinson, and you will see that I, ha I actually have a whole tour going on right now. The uh, two to two times tour. Um, next, she let me borrow about $50. Then, what the fuck you talking about? Well, I had to pay my rent and my car notes, but um, next Damn. I would be in Plano, Texas, the uh, October 14th through the 16th at the Plano House of Comedy, 11 o'clock on the 14th, and then nine o'clock on the 16th. 
And also in Memphis, if you in Memphis, mm -hmm. I have I have a lot of shows in Memphis. You will mm -hmm. see them. I'm in Little Rock. I have Pepper Tree Tea, the finale, October mm -hmm. 29th. And I'm in a play that's the dinner that's next year. Basil Basil. Yes. Basil, shout out to Basil. Basil, he's a great, Basil. He's a great person, a great promoter, and he does oh, great yeah. things. Good and y'all will see him soon on this show, I'm sure. Oh, but, yeah. Um, also, I'll be Bitch. in Florida in January. Oh, okay. So that's kicking off the new tour. I ain't named it yet, mm -hmm. but... I would be in Florida. Just look up. You might see me. Cause and just, what Glorilla said, just like the air, I'm everywhere. Damn. I'm everywhere for real. Hey, child, I know I don't promote nothing. But um, October 23rd, we got a show with Eddie Ray. He'll be here. And why you don't promote nothing? You 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 got a whole thing. back on the scene like a mother. It don't matter if you've been on the scene, off the scene, behind the scene. Get back the in, scene. get back in the scene in that hole. It don't matter what you got going on. You, you better know. say what you're doing. All right, October twenty third is gonna be me, Eddie, Jeremy Roach, and Miss Chanel Macklemore. We're gonna be in South Memphis. South. Hey, but I have follow me on everything two to two times. Give it to him. Uh, T O O T I E the number two and times the regular way. And on Facebook, just spell TWO out if you want to be my personal Facebook friend. I accept you if you ain't on that crazy shit. Not the I baby daddy. I baby daddies. I only accept baby daddies for little junts. Like you, you, had, you your, had it and you, you didn't appreciate shine. it. You, you didn't appreciate shine, it. You got it. What what that is, Matthew said, you're gone. <laughs> you're gone. Oh, that is. Huh? You're gone. Oh, these these you. niggas is gone. I tell you. All right, this has been another edition of 901 Live, brought to you by Memphis Podcast. Holla at me, man!